Theorem number six is the last theorem for this series of angles. Theorem number six states that an angle formed outside a circle by two secants, a tangent, and a secant, or two tangents, is one half the difference of the intercepted arcs. By the way, hindi ko pa pala na-introduce sa inyo ang secants. Ang tangent, alam niya na, no? So in this case, AB, line AB, is a secant. By definition, a line which intersects a circle in two points is called a secant. So in this case, we have secant AB on the first figure or... On the, on the first figure, we have secant AB. We also have secant ED. Dito naman sa second figure, we have secant AB, tapos tangent na tong si CD. Sa pangatlong figure naman, we have uh, two tangent lines. And according to the theorem, the angle formed outside, so in this case, angle C, so X na lang gamitin natin, is equal to one half of the difference of the two intercepted arcs. So we have two intercepted arcs. This is our first figure. We have intercepted arc AE and BD. According to the theorem, it's one half of the difference of the two intercepted arcs. So we have arc AE minus arc BD. Sa kabila naman, ganun din. X degrees is equivalent to one half of the two intercepted arcs. Intercepted arcs natin ay AD at itong BD. So we have one half of AD, yung mas malaki, minus BD, yung mas malit. And for the third one, two tangents. Your x degrees or the angle formed outside is equivalent to one half of the difference between the two intercepted arcs. In this case, it's BD minus, ako BD rin to, no? Maglagay tayo dito. Lagay natin ng A. So in this case, BAD yan. Okay, para hindi nakakalito. Let's use BAD minus BD. Um, let me show the proof of the first case. And then for the rest, you will have the same reasoning or line of reasoning, or set of reasoning, or flow of reasoning. Ang gawin natin dito, um, if we connect B and D, uh, sorry, D and A pala. So let's construct D, A. Okay, let me zoom this. Okay, if we construct D, A. Ngayon, alam natin that by theorem number one, by theorem number one, this angle over here, this angle over here, is equivalent to one half of B, D. Tama ba? One half of B, D. And this angle over here, ito, this angle over here, is one half of AE. Tama One half of AE, yes. One half of AE by theorem number one. Ngayon, itong angle na nasan ba? Itong angle, um, yeah, itong angle na to, one half AE, is actually an exterior angle. Tama? One half AE, itong angle na to. It's an exterior angle. This is triangle na to. According to the exterior angle theorem, itong exterior angle na to equal to sa ito plus ito. So, ang gagawin natin, let's use the exterior angle theorem. We know that angle, also oh, 1 half AE na lang sulat natin. We have 1 half AE. 1 half AE is equal to the sum of this angle over here and angle X. So, you have 1 half BD plus X degrees. Yeah, degrees. Now, since ang goal natin is to get x degrees, ilipat natin yung 1 half BD sa kabila. So we have 1 half of AE minus 1 half of BD equals x degrees. I-arrange lang natin. We have x degrees is equal to 1 half of AE minus 1 half of BD. And all you have to do is to factor out 1 half. We have AE minus BD, which is what we want. So, you will be doing the similar proof dito sa case number 2 at saka sa case number 3. For this example, let's solve for x and we will be using the case 1 of theorem number 6. According to case 1 of theorem number 6, um, x degrees, let, let me write it here, case 1. Ano case 1 nga? Uh, 2 secants, no? 2 secants of theorem number 6. According to the 2 secants of theorem number 6, 2 secant version of theorem number 6, x degrees is equivalent to 1 half of the two intercepted arcs. The difference of the two intercepted arcs, in this case, it's CD minus BA. Let's substitute the given values. We have one half of CD, which is 110, minus BA, which is 50 degrees. So let's simplify this. We have one half of 110 minus 50, that is 60 degrees. So therefore, X is one half of 60 degrees, which is equivalent to 30 degrees. Therefore, since we're, we're going to look for the value of X, X is equal to 
30. This one over here is theorem number 6, but it's a secant and a tangent. Again, we're going to look for the value of x. So by the second part or second type of theorem number 6, we know that x degrees is equal to 1 half of arc AC, arc AC minus arc AB. Now, let's substitute the values. We have 1 half of AC. We know AC. That's, one, that's 150 degrees. Problem natin, we don't have AB. Oh, but we know this is 150 this is 140 the whole thing will the, the whole thing is 360 so therefore ab arc ab is equivalent to 360 minus 150 minus 140 which will give us 290 360 minus 290 70 ab is equal to 70 degrees so this is 70 degrees so therefore let's substitute 70 degrees 70 and 290 290 360, 290, yeah, 70. So x degrees is equivalent to 1 half, 150 minus 70, that is 80 degrees. Therefore, x is equal to 40, or x degrees is 40, or x is equal to 40. And let's have the last one. In this case, the, uh, we have two tangents. This is the third case of theorem number 6. Again, we're going to look for the value of x. Theorem number 6 states that if you have an angle formed outside by two tangents, then the measure of that particular angle is equal to one half of the difference of the two intercepted arcs. In this case, it's 250. Let's just put 250 there. Kasi A, A, B, A, B lang malalagay natin eh. But we don't know A, B yet. A, B. The minor arc A, B. So it's one half of... Oh, this is 250. The whole thing is 360. So 360 minus 250. This is equivalent to 110 degrees which is arc AB, AB. So this is 110. So x degrees is 250 minus 110 divided by 2. And that will give us, what's 250 minus 110? That's 140. And half of 140 is 70 degrees. So x degrees is 70 or x is equal to 70.